the owner of a hardware store. She disappears. No, no one knows where she is. Her son tells the police that a man by the name of Ed Gein had been there the evening before. So they go to his house. Nobody's there. So they walk around the back and find a shed. Jesus Christ. And there's the woman's body, all cut up, hanging from the rafters. So they arrest him. He doesn't say a thing. For 30 hours straight, he just sits there. Finally, he pipes up. I'd like an apple pie and a slice of cheese. And then he starts talking. They search the house. They find the woman's head in a burlap sack, and there's just body parts everywhere. Bowls made out of people's skulls. He had skulls on his bedposts. He upholstered his chairs with human skin. And uh, just like you, you, Jeff, you know, you said you um, tried to dig up a body once. Yeah, just once. Yeah, well, it turns out this guy, he did, did it like 30, 40 times digging up bodies. Oh, wow. They looked in the coffins. They were empty. And, and, and he went to a, a kind of a daze when he did these things, and then he would kind of wake up, and, and he couldn't remember what happened. Did he have sex with the bodies he dug up? OK, OK, Jeff, Jeff here. Ed Gein, OK, the point is, he killed a lot of people, too, OK? And there's no denying that. But um, he entered a plea of not guilty by reason of insanity, and he didn't spend the rest of his life in prison. He spent the rest of his life in a hospital getting the psychiatric help that he needed. You see? We can do the same thing for you, Jeff. Hmm.